be right back guys I gotta go tell my kids something. Sorry. Anyways, we're just warming up. We'll talk for a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. At least Tain Tain turned the painting on for you. I didn't. Uh, I didn't turn the horses on. But this is what we're gonna be making. Different style. Bolt jaw tones is what I'm gonna make. And I find these actually be. A lot easier and faster than the other style. So this is what we'll be going. Holy shit! Fifty dollars from Richard. Thanks, brother. God, man. I really do appreciate that, man. Thank you. These are actually easier than these. Uh, it's a lot harder to get the set downs mixed up on this than this because on this you have set down two on one side one on the other you know as opposed to making these all of your set downs essentially are on the same side of the bar so it's you don't confuse it you know it's, it's kind of dummy proof really you don't make them backwards and shit because they're the same side of the bar you know what i mean someone may hate Come to me now, come to me. Do you see the horses? There's the horses. <laughs> Sorry, took you dreaming me before you come to the team stream. But all in all, uh, these things hold really well. You know, they're stout as shit. They're tight, there's no play in them. And there's kind of like a stop right there if you want to choke up on your tongs. It sits in your hand nice, you know. I like it. They, they're quite comfortable in the hand and they're easy to make, so I think it'd be something fun to make on live stream with you guys. What do you think? You guys want to watch me make them? They are. Also, where did I lay it? The hammer replica. It's made. You guys think I do a good job this is gonna be my new baby I like this hammer so much but I think I've worn through the case hardening on this because I think it was junk steel with case hardening I'm tired of you see all the dings and dents and shit on there that really does affect your finish work so I made one out of good steel, just like it. And 
we go. How much does it weigh? Oh, about two and a half, maybe three pounds. I haven't. I'm, I'm not big on weighing my hammers. I weigh the ones that I sell because I have to hit a target weight, but as far as mine, I make a hammer and put a handle on it and I use it. And I like, I mean, I can look at it and tell if it's going to be too heavy to use or whatever, but as far as weighing them, I've never really bothered to take the hammers I make for myself and run to the scale and weigh them, you know. But let's get started on this, shall we? We got to put a couple marks on here so we know where to start and stop and all that good mess. So, we don't need that for something else. Got that, that. I'll be right back. I got to sharpen my punch. Basically, 
what we're gonna do. Let's see if I can find this chalk. I've got any chalk laying out here. Okay, anyways. Right here, we'll forge that down over the horn and leave it like that. Then here, we'll forge that down about a quarter of that width. You know, we'll, we'll stop there and we'll draw that down a little bit. And that's going to create this valley here okay this valley is between these two marks here that's the, the rise of the boss is between these two and then this valley here will start after that mark and come up to that point and then we'll just go to that point before it rains down all these set downs are on the same side, so it's harder to confuse it and do them backwards. It's kind of cool. Okay. Got a bunch of folks in here. How is everybody? Yeah, Josh, the one in Madison. Only odd number of years on that? Okay. Kind of like the Abana Conference itself. It's on even numbers, so. No, it's half by one, 11 inches long. making a hatchet, a folded hatchet, or a folded axe, I think is what it was. I'm glad you like it, Daniel. I'm glad you like it. Good fortune day it is. Get my stickers on Wednesday. Sweet. I'm going to be starting your punch set this week. It only takes me a day to forge them, and then I take another day to grind the heat treat. So I put two days into it. Not all day, you know, but as a schedule, it's part of my day. You know, uh, I like to feel it, so that's going to take overnight. So I'll forge them, you know, stick them in the, to make you like leave them there overnight, and I come back the next day and I'll grind them, heat treat them. But that'll be this week. I gotta finish these tongs up and get them out because those are due to go out by Wednesday. Uh, these three pairs are. So get those knocked out. We'll do your punches. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked with this handle or this hammer. I'm gonna burn this handle real quick.
then while it's still hot, do the block wax. It'll start to shine. Plus, it gives it more grip. It's kind of like putting wax on a surfboard, you know? Except you don't take a torch to your surfboard first. <laughs> Yeah, I like it too, man. This thing is badass. I like your, your hammer too. It's going out tomorrow. It's the mini sleds that you want. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, good and grippy now. That show is a pretty hammer. I like it. What do I charge for a hammer? Depends on what you want. Generally around 125 to 150 for a hammer. And thus you get like a sledgehammer in your look for uh, which are like 350. Something like that for a big sledgehammer, 400 something. You know, that's basic. Yeah, it does. You think I should start selling these? You think I should make that a listing on my shop? You think these would sell? Good. Jeremy, what's up, brother? How you doing? I think I might. I think I might make a listing on my shop for it. Everybody, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got it. I'll list them. I'll take some pretty pictures of it. Well, Daniel, you know where my PayPal is. You can always buy one before I have them listed on Etsy if you want. Okay. All right. Let's see how this thing works. Gotta light it. So if I run out of gas, I like the cold forge. Yeah, my ammo's not even passing down on there. Shame on me. I hear that, man. Flip it over. Yep. This thing feels exactly like my other hammer weight and everything. The only difference is the shape of the handle is just a touch different. The shape is a hair different. This neck's a little narrower than this one. And this one's not as wide a handle as 
this one. Rather than that, it's almost identical label. Controls just like the other one. This is just a uh, mild steel. Not for the hand, for the tongs. Yeah, you can go straight through PayPal for all your stuff, man. I don't mind the PayPal sales because it's less fees, but Etsy is just buyer protection, seller protection, you know what I'm saying? If you're my friend, we'll do business PayPal, but I do, you know, tell you if, you, if you're just buying something from me and we're not like acquainted and know each other, use Etsy. It gives you buyer protection, it gives me seller's protection. The hammer, that's 4140. Or no, no, excuse me, this is 1045. I, I normally use 4140, but I had a chunk of 1045 square laying around that was the exact weight and size I needed to make that hammer exactly like the other one, so I used that. Sully's got one of my first hammers, if I'm not mistaken. I wouldn't go any less than a 30 or 40 pound. Jeff Fender, what's up? Where you been, man? What the heck? Yeah, pay attention because this, this right here could uh, change how you make your tones, man. It's definitely new and for me and it's easy. Let's well, thinking. Somebody just bought something from me. Who bought it? Somebody just bought something. I can't go look at it yet. It'll close the stream out. I'm surprised Ben isn't here either. You guys probably scared him off. Thank you. Paul Fontanini, what's up, brother? How you is, mate?
you'll see where I made my marks, that dot there, dot there. Start and stop, that swoop, that swage, those marks. Then you can thin this up however much you want to make your bit longer. So don't forge any further past this dot there or that dot there. And only use the material in between them to extend that out, okay? That's gonna determine how big of a curve you have in your bolts. Anybody learn anything yet today? Oh, I, hold on a second. So who remembers this? Who remembers made that? saying Yamas. What? What are you talking about? No, I made this on a live stream. point of it is I'm gonna give it away today I've got a few of them now that I've made and they're getting in my way <laughs> and I was talking yesterday morning on the live stream about no one really ever shows up unless you say you're giving something away so I'm not gonna tell everybody when I'm doing a giveaway anymore I'm gonna do it randomly we got 42 people here right now I'm gonna give away that little skull Right here. 
Okay. So I have somewhere to base it off of on the next one. To do what it does with the hammer. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do my set down here. And then we're going to thin all this material up before we do the uh, set down on the other side of the walls. Okay. It's not about getting hot enough. It's about having the right kind of rod. Terry Wright says, just send me one. I <laughs> send you one what? How much do I set down before the boss? I, I did the measurements earlier. Two inch between those two marks. Two inches of material. No, the boss is going to be thinner. You don't need a half inch thick boss for your tongue ring. That'll make your, your tongs an inch wide up there before the ribbon. So, how many... Let me finish what I say, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna take them down to three eggs, maybe quarter inch thick. Uh, each one, draw that out, that way it lightens them up, thinner range, you know, not as bulky, but still got a beefy bit on them. How many did I make? How many what did I make? Terry, you want one of these faces? Is that what you're saying? How's it going? I probably made like six of them, seven. They're pretty fun to make. Why, wow, you like that one? I try to make them a little different than Yamez because I don't want it to seem like I'm ripping off his idea. He's the one that inspired it, but I want it to be different, you know? And they, they are different than the ones Yamez makes. They're unique in their own way.
this one used to last three, four days. Now it's lasting like two. I think uh, my forge is breaking down on the inside. It's not insulated as well. I'm tired of redoing That's why I'm building a ribbon burner. Forge here, what's up? That's right, okay. My first forge was made of fire bricks in the backyard. My folks and y'all are all saying we get ready to light the or fire up the press. It's thinner now. Okay. That'll make a decent size balls, maybe. Maybe a lot here there. I'm not changing it to electric. five step set of each forge stage and making one side of the tongue so people can learn from it. have the ability to make one out of plate, make it out of plate. Just make it the right dimensions. Uh, brake drums, too, the sides are too vertical for my liking. I used to use a brake drum for so definitely use one. And, you know, for starting out, they're awesome. They get you started once you've got it going for a while. You start learning your preferences and stuff like that. I found my preferences that the sides are too vertical in a brake drum for for my liking. So... I like the slant, the angle sides of the forge up and weld up your own, you know. Morning, Boar.
okay? Let me pick it. But now I'm going to pre-mark it since I've been pressed the mark kind of stretched out and sorted. scratch, blemish anywhere so far. So I think, uh, very pleased with that hammer. Very, very pleased with it. Yeah, 30 pound tanks, that's about the size of my forge. It was a, I think it was a seven gallon air tank that I made mine out of, which is pretty much exact same size as a 30 gallon tank, a 30 pound tank. You get, I think exactly seven gallons of propane in a 30 pound tank. Evans, what's up? 
How you doing, man? Like I said, I've got press dies that I'm making up so I can do this faster because this is something I can't do under press and it will definitely, definitely, definitely speed up the tongue making for me if I switch to this style. So thumbs up, thumbs down on that style switch. Which ones do you think you'll like better? I can tell you which ones I like better. I'll let you pick. I'll let you pick which ones you like. This one's A, this one's B. A or B. One inch from the start of the boss, James Jones, one inch. Still be. What if I sold both types? That could be option C. List both types. Okay. We're going to go right on the back side of the work and make that other side now. Throw it over.
That's also true, Aaron. As well as when you're working over a swage block or something with a hardy tool, you, with A or with B, it's hard to rotate all the way around without it hitting the handle. That's kind of why I came, wanted to start with this design. I've seen them uh, working with Iron Nathan. Uh, makes some really damn nice tongs. And I decided to get the shot, see how I like them. Man, I kind of like them. Yep. Tongs are like firearms. There's always a need for another one. Hell, I've got tongs that I made for one use and one use and I've never used them again, but I got them. In case I ever have to make that thing again, I've got the tongs to do it. So who wants this thing? I see 45 likes, Mr. Richards, Richard Edwards. But maybe uh maybe uh something's changed, I don't know. Who wants that skull? I'll let y'all tell me how much y'all want it while I'm doing the tall greens and then I'll pick one. wants it. Here we go. We're going to pick somebody. Okay, bushcraft. Tongs are like firearms. There's only, a, there's always a need for another. There we go. Okay, bushcraft. Got it. Okay, bushcraft. It's yours, man. Email me, countylineforcegmail.com with an address.
be silly. Take it easy. Jeff, take it easy, man. Yeah, gonna be about lunchtime. Well, hell. Well, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. See you, man. We just have to ground these rings up. Ain't you done yet? No, I ain't done yet. Clinker breaker, uh, no, I don't have one in mine. But there's ways that you can do it. videos on
don't know how long I'm gonna milk this job for. Man, it's like I tell everybody, I could easily go finish it with the press, knock them out, bang, bang. But what fun is that for y'all, you know? I'm doing by hand as a live stream. So I can hang out. So y'all can hang out. So we can talk, answer questions, ask questions. You know? So some folks don't have presses and stuff like that, and that's totally fine. So they watch me, they can see how they can do it by hand, you know? I know I use the press to throw out the range real quick, but I'll do the next one by hand if you'd like. <laughs> Well, we, we will be here for a little while. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. They don't want shit till you start st start working on something. I wouldn't want to do that, Curtis. I mean, maybe it would look cool. But I wouldn't want to put finger grooves in the tongs because you've got to be able to turn the tongs in your hands and hold them in different positions as you're working a piece. And they wouldn't be very comfortable unless they were held in that exact spot. You know, unless you plan on never turning your work. And you like, as, I, as I'm working, I'll show you while I'm working. I'll let you watch my tong hand as it's rotating. I'm around. in my hand. You don't even really think about that when it's doing it.
Yes, score does. You'll be fumbling and bumbling and dropping stuff. Learn how to keep your grip while you move the tongs in your hand. Yep. Finger grooves essentially makes it a one-dimensional tool. You can only use it one way. Isolate some heat and we end up here. We're gonna split this bit. Starting to run out of propane. Take care, man. Yeah, rolling the tongs is definitely a challenge. But once you learn how to do it, it, it opens up a lot of different possibilities, really. You get more out of a heat when you can control your tones. More out of a heat when you can control your tones. I personally wouldn't put any kind of spazzazz on tone rings because they're made comfort, smooth, streamlined. You know? All those high spots would cause hot spots in your palm. Because it's less surface area of your palm touching the tongue grain because a lot of undulations in the twist. So it wouldn't disperse that friction over a larger space. So it would cause hot spots in the small spaces that you're confined to. That's the way I would think about it honestly. What's up, man? Question. 
What do you guys think about me instead of Fridays? That seems to be be conflicted with Roy. He's doing more than once a month. What about Sunday after, Sunday after Tim every week? What do you think about that? This time slot instead. They always seem to have better audience here. More people able to show up. They're already online for Tim's. They can just come straight over to mine. You know what I mean? What do you think about that? open that up some square stock. leave it up I'll put up a poll on my channel let you guys decide all right Matt we'll see you man thanks for hanging out your vote absolutely counts Curtis it absolutely counts because it doesn't matter what you do I don't care if you don't have a job you do have a job you go to school you don't go to school you watch my channel you are my viewers, my subscribers. That's why I go live. It's y'all's. It's for y'all. It's everybody, every one of you. It's just as important to me as the next. All right, Smith or no Smith. Remember that. Yeah, except for Ben Toons. He only means half as much because he's only half as tall. We can do many half jokes with Ben too, but we're not. I'll wait till he's here to talk crap back to me. Ben 
barbárie. Follow the shine mark. Put up a poll and I'll let you guys uh, decide. Because I figured Friday would work, but if Roy's going to have a every other week scheduled, then I'm not going to dance around that schedule either. So, yeah, and I thought about that too. Tim maybe changing his time slot. Who knows? Maybe I can take over Tim's time slot if he changes his. Back on the pole. We, huh? 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 What are you saying? bigger bit so I need them open more so I needed more on the bit there but you see it's 
but, and I brought that, see I brought that nipple up a little closer to the boss like I said I was going to. Yes, $64.99. That is way too damn much. <laughs> wow. That's probably the most expensive I've ever heard somebody selling coal for. I want to put something in perspective for you on the price of coal. Price of coal is like, depending on where you live, six bucks or six cent a pound something like that or no not six cent a pound uh 15 20 cent a pound in that ballpark i think where you live it's over a hundred dollars for holy christ wow you guys where do y'all live at i can have i can go get a dump truck load of coal for like 400 bucks a dump truck load West Virginia I mean you gonna have to pay for delivery and stuff like that but I think you can get a Hans is selling it up in Pennsylvania he gets it in Pennsylvania he's paying like six bucks a 50 pound bag Six dollars for a fifty-pound bag, and that's already pre-bagged. Ah, eh, decorative, yeah. It's just this style tone. You know, it's all the set downs are on one side. You know what I'm saying? All these set downs are all on the same side of the bar. So you're going to have that unless you want to go straight from your boss down. That to me just adds a little more in st structural integrity with the transition to the boss, but not sure. Yeah, at that price, man, you could probably forge with lump charcoal for cheaper or make your own. Yeah, pretty simple, wouldn't you guys say? That didn't seem difficult at all. And you see how the bend in it is. It's already wanted to go that way before, remember, before we straighten it back out. Yeah, $60 is a pickup load local. Yeah, it, depending on where you're at in the country, I reckon. So give these a try. I'll leave this live stream posted. You guys can come back and watch it. But you saw it was fairly straightforward. Everything set down on one side. I'm happy with it. I think it's going to make a damn fine pair of tongs. Get the other side made later today. Get them sent out. Okay, Bushcraft, congratulations on winning this, my man. Email me, countylineforge at gmail.com. Uh, if any of you guys are interested in this style hammer, I'll do them for buck 25 shipped continental U.S. right now before I put on Etsy if you suit my PayPal. Uh, PayPal me. You can use countylineforge at gmail.com if you want to order them before they make it to my Etsy. Because i got to have pictures made up before I put on Etsy. Uh, so that's up to you guys. If you want one, hit me up. You can order them through PayPal for now. They'll be on Etsy within a week or so. First in line, a lot of folks said they seemed like they'd be interested in one, so they may fill up my order, so get them while you can, right? All right, guys, thanks for the love. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me on Sunday. I'll put that poll up afterwards to see if you guys are cool with Sundays from now on. Uh, Richard Edwards, thank you for the super chat, man. I really do appreciate that. Big help. Oh, my wife is here. Hello, baby. You must be on lunch, which is what I'm getting ready to go do is eat lunch. <laughs> Thanks for everybody hanging out. Y'all have a good day. And I'm going to list both those sets of tongs. So different styles. Change things up a bit. Since folks like them both. Later, everybody.